And for the first time since leaving intensive care, a young girl who was bitten in the neck by a dog spoke to 10 News after her first day back at school. New tonight, 10 News reporter Jennifer Jensen is in El Cajon tonight with her family's accounts of how it all happened. Jennifer? The family tells 10 News they had only been living in the house for three weeks when the seven-year-old was bitten by a dog in this backyard. Johanna Newland is back at home, although the bandage that covers her throat is a reminder of the past 11 days. Yeah, it was scary seeing my baby in the ICU and on a breathing machine. The seven-year-old El Cajon girl was bitten by this dog next door, 14-month-old Mapacha, a husky who was tied up in his yard when Johanna went to retrieve a ball that had gone over the fence. She went to go get her ball. It went over the fence. She asked the neighbors if she could get it, and then she was attacked by the dog. Her older brother, Elijah, was nearby. A little girl came up and she was like, your sister got bit, but it tried to attack her once, but it missed. And I was like, what? That's when Joanna's 14-year-old sister ran over to help. I saw her, like, bleeding right here. I got a towel from the house and I put it on her and I applied pressure. Keeping her little sister calm until paramedics arrived. Johanna then spent the past week and a half at Rady Children's Hospital, even spent several days in the ICU. Was it scary seeing your sister in the hospital like that? Yeah. Today, the second grader returned to school. What was that like? Mm -hmm. Although she shrugs it off as no major feat, her mom clearly does. No, I, I didn't think that she'd be back so soon. I thought that it was worse than it was. Despite her new fear of dogs, she will make a full recovery. In Al Cajon, Jennifer Jensen, 10 News. And the girl's mother tells us that she's not yet spoken with the neighbor about what happened, but the owners of the dog do tell us if animal control says that the dog is vicious, they will do what's right. The dog remains under quarantine with county animal control.